papá, ¿qué pasa? No tiene ganas de pelear. ¿Ah? Pues vamos, vamos a hacerlo. Henry, tienes que pelear. Enjoy, right, Harry. Come on, you have to Wednesday fight. Wednesday, 10 p.m. Tune in to Inside the NFL. Join Bob Costas, Chris Collinsworth, Dan Marino, and Chris Carter for a look back at tomorrow's conference championship games and a preview of the upcoming Super Bowl. Breathe through your mouth. Come on, breathe through your mouth. You can do it, man. You can do it. Come on, work it, work it. Hit him. Seven rounds. Seven rounds. Gracias. You've got the condition. <laughs> A look at the Magic City, downtown Miami. The skyline continues to grow as construction boom, which has made Miami one of the most glamorous and high architecture cities in the world, continues here. Hey, Roy. Oh. Before I uh, before I get to this, we'll go to Harold Letterman. Excuse me a second. Harold, how do you have it through six? <laughs> okay, Jim, 60 to 54, six rounds to nothing, Floyd Mayweather Jr. You know, you know, Jim, Floyd's father was a fighter, Roy Jones' father was a trainer. Guys like this are born into the game. I mean, he's such a natural, but not as clinic. I mean, beautiful shots, combinations, jams, lead right hands, great defense, turns his body just like Roy does. I think it's a super performance by Floyd Mayweather. All right, so Roy, do you like the Steelers or the Patriots? Well, I like the Patriots, but I've been a Steeler fan for a long time. Floyd tells us, incidentally, I ask you the question, and Floyd looks here and says, the Patriots. <laughs> and do you like the Eagles or the Falcons? That's a close game. I'm a very close friend of Michael Vicks. So I want to see my friend make it, but I also have a lot of respect, and I love Donovan McNabb. So it's a toss-up game. Two classy I, guys. Yeah, very classy guys. Uh, I think Philadelphia has the experience, Edge. But Mike Vick is a Roy Jones in the game. You never know what he might pull off. Might get knocked out, Roy. He might <laughs> knock somebody out, too. <laughs> I'll have to wait until Mayweather comes to this side of the ring to ask him whether he likes the Eagles or the Falcons. We know he's already picked the Patriots while in the middle of punching Henry Brucellis. You know, something, well, it is a, you know, certainly a virtuoso performance by Mayweather. But we ought to also note in passing who the opposition is. He turned down stronger fighters, didn't want to fight him. Such as? Well, one was uh, Mohamed Abdullayev, the Olympic gold medalist. Uh, there were several others, but they said, well, uh, they don't think that's necessary because uh, let's remember, uh, they're trying to build toward a big fight against Gaddy. When does one of the other title holders let the Guyanan star, Vivian Harris, into this rotation? <laughs> well, Vivian Harris has to let himself into the rotation. He was offered a fight underneath the Gaddy fight next week. He rejected it. Uh, a pretty good payday for him. Uh, he thinks he's going to make a lot more money down the road, so he's being cautious. And you may recall he also turned down a fight with... Miguel Cotto, so he's, he's young, he's 26 years old, I believe, he's got time, and uh, feels that eventually some big fight will come along. I don't know if he's right, he's got to get some exposure, but that's apparently what he thinks. Between rounds, we will show you on replay the moment when Floyd Mayweather, answering my question to Roy Jones, <laughs> pick the Patriots to win tomorrow. He's protecting his body. Listen up. The Patriots. <laughs> now this, this follows an incident years ago when I, in the middle of a fight, said that's the second time the Floyd switched southpaw and he looked at me and said, third time. <laughs> he, he protecting it, man. Listen to me. Run, run, run him to the top. Fuck him. He ready to go anywhere. Hey. You ready to go anywhere? Run the jacket up. Run the motel. Run the motel. Come on, man, throw four. He's waiting for you to throw two, so he can throw you four. Come on, you're going to throw two. Throw four, throw five. But down and up, down and up, mix it. Molestando, Henry, molestando, molestando, Henry. 
Evangelist Dakota making the same suggestion to Henry Griselis that Roy Jones was making. Go ahead and open up and throw more and try to fight at a faster pace and force something. You're going to get hit anyway. <laughs> Marcellus has wobbled a few times, but so far has held up under Mayweather's power punch assault. Mayweather, as is so frequently the case, has basically done whatever he wanted against Marcellus. Eagles and Falcons, Floyd. He likes Michael Vick. I gotta stop this so that I don't distract him. <laughs> it's too easy. He ain't gonna distract him. He got this under control. Body shot by Mayweather as Priscilla's right hand was waving over his head. Somewhere at ringside. Oh, what a show. What a show. Somewhere at ringside what? Well, uh, Mayweather's bodyguard is sitting, uh, holding all his jewels with him, guarding the jewels. Mayweather being one of those uh, modern athletes who thinks that diamonds are a boy's best friends. No, 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 I got it, turn around. Because in Florida, in theory, only the referee can stop the fight. But in this instance, the referee turned around and was given a reference by someone at ringside who said, no, no, stop it. And that's why the fight was stopped. Mayweather closed the show, landing 20 of 29 of his last power shots. That fight looked a little like the Corley fight. Well, we did see Sam Peter tonight. Well, you've already commented on uh, on what you think happens in Mayweather Gaddy. Suppose somewhere down the road as right we look at, look at this. Knockdowns. He's either jab to the body, shot an overhand right to the top, but the body shots like that left and that right body shot right there are really what did it. Yep. They pretty much wore him down. Once again, you see him, he set him up with a jab to the body, and he come back, he taps him with a left body shot, and he digs a right, right to the solar plex, and that pretty much did it. Perfect shot. Second knockdown, he's pretty much through already. He was tired. There was another body shot that definitely took the fight out of him. A soft hook to the head, but the body shot is what did the damage tonight. Right. The right to the solar plexus. Yeah. Same place where Arturo Gatti knocked out Leonard Doreen last year with a body shot like that. Yeah, that was a beautiful body shot he threw. And, of course, that follows the theme we've been setting up here because now that Floyd Mayweather has gotten past Henry Brucellus, he'll wait to see what happens between Arturo Gatti and James Leah next week to see if that pay-per-view tussle can be set up for later this year. And let's go to Michael Buffer for the official particulars on the knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Jorge Alonso calls a halt to the contest. The official time, two minutes, 55 seconds of round number eight. 
The winner by TKO, still undefeated.